I'm Air Marshal Mel Hupfield, the Chief of the Royal Australian Air Force. In 2021, our Air Force uh, reaches 100 years old, so we'll be celebrating our centenary. The significance of recognising our centenary on these coins is to, for really all Australians to realise the aircraft that we've flown over this last 100 years. But most importantly, it's to recognise the service and the sacrifice of, of many Australians. Um, over 350,000 have served in our Air Force since 1921. It's about recognising what we've done in the past, uh, where we've come from, uh, about recognising what we're doing now and then where we're going in the future. So we're using the, the, uh, the theme of then, now, always and that's, uh, that's a great description of what Air Force has done and, and where we're going. Sir Richard Williams is the father of the Royal Australian Air Force, uh, a really distinctive figure and fought very strongly for uh, Air Force to have its own service uh, in the early days. We then go through people like Len Waters, who was our first Aboriginal fighter pilot, and uh, he flew through the, the uh, Second World War, and we've just recently named one of our buildings, a, a key headquarters building at RAAF Williamtown in Newcastle, uh, has been named in his honour. Doris Carter, female athlete uh, in the Olympics, and then she became a director in the Women's Royal Australian Air Force in the early days of uh, certainly women being recognised uh, more significantly in our Air Force. Robin Williams was our first female pilot. You know, over 20 years ago, uh, she, she first came in to form a part of our aircrew uh, organisation, uh, became a test pilot, uh, flew over 20 aeroplanes, uh, quite a significant career. One of our key uh, figures that's represented on one of the coins is Harry Alley, Uncle Harry. He's an Aboriginal elder. He served through the enlisted ranks, uh, reaching the rank of Warren Officer, uh, and he still serves and provides advice to me today. We've been very fortunate and privileged to be able to work with the Royal Australian Mint to commemorate the service and sacrifice of people over 100 years in our Air Force and to recognise the aircraft uh, on some of those coins. And I get to press the first coin, a major milestone, and that will be the, the first coin that's minted in the world. And I think a great privilege for me as the Chief of Air Force to do that. I'm really pleased to announce uh, Lorraine Edgar from Charleville, Queensland as the winner of the first coin to be struck in 2021. Every year the Mint has an annual theme for its Mint Mark collection and the Mint Mark coin is the coin that you can come and get uh, pressed in our foyer. The foyer and the shop area get dressed in the annual theme. We felt that the Royal Australian Air Force centenary was an important theme because so many people are associated with the Air Force. We've been working on the Royal Australian Air Force Centenary Program now for a couple of years and we definitely felt that it was the strongest uh, theme for our Midmark program. And we hope that as well for all Australians, but particularly for people associated with the Air Force, that they can really appreciate the work that's gone into these coins. I'm hugely honoured with an opportunity to create the design and the model for the coin uh, in recognition of 100 years of Royal Australian Air Force. The coin is inspired with the Royal Australian Air Force logo and its main feature, Eagle. During the entire design process, uh, we have closely worked with the Royal Australian Air Force to make sure that every detail depicted on the coin is authentic. The coin features uh, three airplanes, SE-5A, Orion and F-35, to represent the past, present and the future of the Royal Australian Air Force. As a kid I used to collect coins like this uh, and in fact I came here on a school excursion to the Mint and bought my own coin at that point. Uh, it wasn't as stylish as these ones, these are fantastic and the quality of these coins is just amazing. It's, uh, it's a true representation of the centenary that we're trying to celebrate. So uh, my sincere thanks to the Royal Australian Mint to help us out with this, to commemorate the centenary of our Air Force.